Down below, under the bridge at Mill Creek, the world shifts. The underbridge is the interior site of a border that harbors and reveals what is censored, repressed. And I dream the underbridge. I read the underbridge dreaming. I am a poet. I'm interested in poetry as a legitimate form of research practice. One of the projects that I've been working on for the last few years is the Underbridge Project. Trying to understand what it means to be in Edmonton, what it means to be in Canada, what it means to be on Treaty 6 land from the perspective under the bridge. What do underbridges tell us about where we are? And I think they can tell us a lot. And I think you could go under a bridge pretty much anywhere in the world and come to understand where you are in a very specific and important way. Um, environmentally, socially, levels of poverty, who lives under the bridge, who doesn't, who jogs under the bridge, who rides their bike. I encountered people who were homeless and who were probably Cree um, and certainly home and homeless. And I think this, this, my underbridge research has been really important for me in trying to figure out what what it means to be here and, and how I can be here in a good way with my Indigenous community as someone who lives on Treaty 6. And I, and I feel like as a, somebody who works in a university, that's, that's essential, that we constantly consider where we are. And poetry is a very important way of thinking through who we are, what we are, where we are, and where we might be, <laughs> where else we might be, and considering the work that many of us do here is related to social justice. We created this collective that consists of students from the university and folks from the community um, all over from inner city, Boyle Street area, Abbotsfield, and we work together as a research collective. As a department we have I would say enormous support to follow our intellectual passions and to, to really go where no one has gone before and I think it's very unique in that way and I do do things that are off the grid and and there's always been uh, real enthusiasm for that and real support for that. <laughs>